Okay, here's an update on the Willys truck. It's a 1950. It was sitting in a field in Texas for the last 30 years. It is sitting on a 1999 Chevy 1500 4x4 chassis. The truck was a short bed single cab. So the wheelbase was almost perfect. The bed already had all this heavy duty bumper steps built on it. And the end of the frame ended right there. So it just sat on there perfect. Notched out right there. And that just bolted right to the frame. Cut the filler neck right through the side panel there. So it has the stock gas tank, stock fuel system. And then on the front, the only thing I did on the frame was cut off a short section that was here that had the, the actual uh, tow hooks on it. So I cut that back to where the frame got bigger and then it was just square. And this bumper actually slid right over it and just bolted right on. And this bumper is for a 97 to 06 Jeep Wrangler. Got it off of eBay, $169 shipped. So it's got light tabs and a winch plate already. eBay lights. Pro Comp wheels, they're 16 inch, same as what the stock Chevy were, six lug. That's the Chevy factory skid plate. Uh, as for the cab mounts, this is where the factory one was and then I just added one back a little bit farther just angle iron and then that hits right on the factory Willys cab mount and then this is the rear one was right there and it's just directly above it I have one coming off straight off the frame to the bottom of the floor it would have been close to the factory mount. You could have made it work. And then I did have a slight space between the bed and the cab. So that way my fenders would have been over the wheels, right? So that's why I have the stacks on it. And those are four inch, 48 inch long. They go down to a, a three inch. And then just the one is hooked up. And it goes right to the factory pipe right there. The fuel tank is in the way for it to cross over. It would have had to been really low or really high to clear that tank.
the hitch just bolts on to the factory Chevy frame. Some LED lights. And then the cab had no glass in it when I got it. It was all broke. So I got brand new glass from eBay. It was Bob's, I think it was Bob's Auto Glass. Tinted. All the side glass is tinted. Uh, the front glass is tinted green. All the rest is tinted gray. All brand new seals. Uh, I think the mirrors were for a newer Wrangler too. Just bolted those on. Inside I still got to finish up, but it is a Chevy S10 seats, black, and then those just bolted right to the floor. They still, still slide forward, still recline, um, center console, fit pretty nice. I gotta finish up the dash here, make this a lot better, but the factory Chevy cluster fits right in there. Chevy steering column, uh, push button, four wheel drive, lights, Chevy uh, brake pedal, gas pedal, Chevy carpet. Okay, so we got a aluminum radiator, got an electric fan in the front pushing, and another one behind pulling. And there's just a little bit of clearance there between the front pulleys. Metal brock, air intake. This is a 4.8 LS factory motor. It's got the 4L60E trans. Chevy brake booster. Cruise control. All the Chevy computers. It all fits, but it's kind of tight. I actually had to cut out the grill, you know, the big fan shroud that it normally has to make clearance for it. Tire size is 285, 75, 16.
I think it sounds pretty good. Not too loud. Going down the roads, not bad either. There's no muffler, it's just converter on each side. Two into one. But that's it. I'll have more when the interior is done. I have the door panels made already. I just gotta finish the dash, dash up. I'll add a bunch of pictures at the end here of the process. I didn't have a whole lot as I went through it. And then also check out my other videos where I have another 1950 Willys truck that I put on a 05 Durango with the 5.7 Hemi. Put that on that chassis. That one is only two wheel drive. So it's a burnout machine. This one is four wheel drive and everything works as it should.